John Coltrane knew nothing. Nothing. Sure. His blistering, plaintive forays, blasted melodies hewn from the cosmos itself, sowing fire seeds for universal consciousness to flower. Fingers so fast he could generate enough energy to power half of Manhattan just in the opening refrain to giant steps. But let's not get carried away. Train didn't have that much to say. Miles Davis knew even less. Charlie Parker, Minnow. <laughs> Ellington, Armstrong, Dizzy, Mingus, Roach, Monk, Ella, Nina, Lady Day and Sarah Vaughan all steps on the well-worn path to enlightenment, to a beautiful sense of entitlement. If they could hear the fruits of their labour embodied in one man alive today, they'd smile, hold their hearts with humble pride and nod. They'd stare in wonder at Jazz's 75 million album selling God. The man to harness the power of every beautiful musician who burns so bright. Gave their lives to music, to lift spirits, to elevate those who night after night would stay out late playing drums, piano, singing or blowing a battered dented horn, pushing each dumb day hard right through to a new dawn. If truly they could see him, he who has taken their hard fought victories and made them his own, they would ask in reverence and hushed tones, Who is he? And I would say, He is our saviour. He's the one with Jazz's true flavour. Flavour? <laughs> I didn't even know there was an eye in there. <laughs> and his name is Kenny G. <laughs> That's the jazz for me. <laughs> None of the raging genius and reckless muscular power of Mingus writing his torrid heart into big band hurricanes and bending 20 hookers in a night. No! I want my jazz flaccid. I want my jazz white. With ponytail and tight trousers. I want reverb on my sax. I want drums as thin as David Cameron's promises. Bass like a Bass like a wet worm. Keys that wouldn't sound out of turn on an advert for Daz Automatic. I want jazz that buzzes with thin reading irritation like static. I want it so sickly my teeth fall out. I want so much erectile dysfunction in my jazz there's no chance of any actual jazz coming out. I want my jazz Starbucks. I want my jazz Richard and Judy. I want my jazz so soulless, even if it rolled over and died, it wouldn't move me. Water it down, go on, stir in some sugar, add an extra measure of emptiness. Take every insurance advert you've ever seen and play the jingles back to me. Here, have my heart. I don't need it anymore. Kenny tells me what to live for. That's it. <laughs> Jazz. I want flaccid jazz. I want wilting, smooth, vapid jazz. I'm done with feeling. All that pain just leaves me reeling. I want my jazz mule to me by the bastard offspring of Michael Bolton and Scylla Black. The sound of every New Age meditation backing track. Of every wrist slittingly bland department store. I want my jazz to wipe the floor with all my hopes. Kenny, play to me. Sing me your flaccidity. As humans grasp at the last wisps of fertility, the final waves of progeny before the bucket gets too full and we all kick it. Can we kick it? Yes, we can. <laughs> Kenny, play to me. You are the soundtrack to our decline. You are the death knell tolling. Truly, the end is nigh. Your blandness is an ocean. Even the fires of hell would spit and fizzle and Satan would whimper under the girth of your mediocrity. Darwin was wrong. Empirical knowledge is a falsehood. The forests are shrinking. The skies are growing quiet. Play us out, Kenny. It's time. Oh.